Welcome back. So what we did in our last video uh, was uh, retrieving um, an array with five uh, with five elements inside of it. Uh, right here, forecast, forecast, forecast. Uh, so what we're going to do is now translate this into our HTML. So what we're going to do is uh, delete all of this uh, day, uh, divs and we're going to um, just going to use one. So to do this, we're going to use uh, one of my favorite directives. It's um, ng4. So how does ng4 work? So this pretty much is going to loop uh, in our array. So we need to create a variable. I want to call it day. And it's going to loop inside of our uh, CD forecast array. Now uh, we're going to use string interpolation, just in like um, our other component, uh, the current weather component. Uh, in here, we're going to use this uh, this variable. So this is going to be day that city name. No, sorry, date. Oh, actually, just day day that day. Uh, our icon. This, it's going to have this URL address. The only thing we're going to change is our day that icon. Here we're going to pass our day that temp uh, max. What do you call this? Yeah, temp max. And this one is going to be our day that temp min uh, don't forget to make this degrees and degrees uh, all right the moment of truth uh, let's save this mm, let's go for San Francisco. Enter. Nice. But um, we have a little problem uh, besides the mm, positioning. <laughs> uh, so we just want the days, right? Uh, to say uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. So what we're going to use are pipes. Pipes in HTML and uh, Angular 2 are kind of like, uh, I really don't know how to explain it. Uh, kind of like, I want to say uh, styling our data in in, uh, in this case, so it's more readable, or not more readable, so, uh, to, to display it differently. Uh, so if you come here, uh, I found this uh, date pipe from the angular.io documentation, and we're going to use uh, the long date, September 3rd, uh, 2010. So what we're going to do is uh, put a pipe here, and to create a pipe, like they're showing us over here, come on, example, we use this pipe character. And 
we need is the pipe. We're gonna call for the date. Uh, colon, and then single quotation, uh, quotation marks. And we need, um, if we come to our example over here, we want this one. But we found a year. So let's save this. And again, let's put uh, San Francisco. Awesome. So we have 13th, 19th, 20th, 21th, and 31st. I uh, wonder if I put space here. If this works. Because right now, it's like just won't work. Uh, San Francisco. Yeah. So now we have space. So you're going to put a space between the M's and the D's. Awesome. But now, uh, we're almost done, but we have a little problem. What if I want to look for another city? Uh, let's look for... Mm, let's look for Seattle. Uh, what happened? Well, my array just keeps growing. So what we need to do is clear our array before uh, we make each call. So when we hit submit, our array is going to go down to zero elements and then repopulate with uh, the data. So let's go to our uh, forecast component. And on submit, we are going to, uh, we're going to clear our we're going to empty our array. So to do that, we're going to call for this uh, city forecast. We're going to splice it from zero to this city forecast. Now, okay, so let's go to San Francisco again, all right, and now let's go to Seattle, cool, as you can see, we're not adding more, uh, we're not making our array bigger. We're just keeping it at five. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of our console logs. Or you could keep it if you wanted. That's entirely up to you. Okay, so one more thing we can do is change. Uh, no, actually, I think I'm happy with this. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay, so we have our weather application working uh, for our current weather current location, uh, uh, for one day, we have our city forecast for the next uh, five days. So this is it. I hope you like uh, this uh, series of videos. Uh, um, if you have any feedback about 
uh, the link to the videos or if you have questions about Angular, uh, please let me know. Also, this is going to be, this is my first one, so be a little patient. I'm going to learn as I go on. Okay, well, thank you very much. And remember, if you like this, subscribe to my page or like this video. I'll see you in, uh, in a different tutorial. Uh, have a good day. Ciao.